Well, welcome back smart people. Today we're assembling, or I'm assembling, the mainframe of the Astro Turbulon mechanical clock. It's made up of a bunch of different pieces. We get a bunch of different parts. There's a total of seven, or pardon me, six, eight by 22 by seven bearings. There is a pair of 10 millimeter long, two millimeter wide rods, which go into the ends of the earth and the moon shafts. There is a pair of M2 by eight millimeter screws to hold the mainframe carrier bottom to the mainframe carrier top, these two pieces in blue. There's two more M2 eight millimeter long cap screws to hold the 39 tooth gear cap, or probably the 39 tooth gear assembly to the end of the frame. There's then a single M2 by eight millimeter screw to hold a cap in the end of this post. And you'll see these, there's a total of six of these copper rings. Uh, these are spacers that are used to, to keep the bearings from working their way out. We have our 24 tier, 24 tooth gear plus shaft. We have our 32 tooth crown gear. Uh, we got the cap I mentioned with a small M2 screw in it. We have the mainframe carrier bottom, this piece, and the mainframe carrier no shaft, which is this piece. I have already printed off, uh, shaped, and glued in the carrier top shaft, this element here. In addition to this, we also have our counterweight and counterweight cover. Uh, I have tape in there because I've got some lead pellets in there at the moment. I don't know if it's enough weight yet, so I wasn't going to glue it closed until I know it's all balanced properly. Hub cover, which is the silver piece, which is glued on to the back of the main frame later on. We have our earth, the north and south hemispheres, plus the shaft for it. We have the moon, north and south hemispheres, plus the shaft for it. A pair of 12 tooth gears, 24 T20 gear. So got two different pieces on there. Uh, uh, the larger one's 24 teeth, the smaller one's 20 teeth. A basic 24 tooth gear. And then these two circular pieces, each are the side bearing blocks. So in order to prep all this, the mainframe carrier bottom, uh, needed to have two two millimeter holes reamed out so that things would fit properly. The 39 tooth crown gear needed to have two bearings put in it, one on either end. Both of the each are backed by one of the uh, circular spacers. The two halves of the moon needed to be glued together. And the shaft needed to be glued into it, and a two millimeter pin put in the end of it. That's one of the 10 millimeter pins. Same thing with the Earth. North and south had to be glued together. The shaft had to be fit into it and glued, and the uh, two millimeter shaft protruding from it. Now on to the mainframe itself. As you can see, there's a total of four bearings in here. Each one is held in by one of the spacers. The side bearing blocks had to be glued in place in the uh, either side of the forks here, and uh, the. the the shaft needed to be glued in place. In addition, the center of the two hex studs here uh, had to be uh, tapped so that it would hold a M2 screw. And then either side of the crown gear here needed to be uh, tapped for the retaining screws for it. And that's the short version of this. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and try to assemble all of it to see if it works. And I'm going to do that for the very first time. That one will probably be a little lengthy. But here we go with this component uh, set up. So this goes like this. The bearing here on the end, this is where the the clock face will attach from the other side. Put the crown gear in place. 
goes on the end of the fork like that. Our shaft then starts to protrude up through the center there with that slipping over the top and our 24 tooth gear sitting there between them and that'll fit on the hex end of a, our gear with shaft so there we are the center should spin smoothly that will be held in place our cap go in the top here to hold it in. Uh, this is where uh, from the mainframe carrier bottom the 39 tooth gear that was just floating in the center of it will go on the end of this with the cap on it and once it's all assembled. Um, what's next? The earth and the moon and yada yada yada. So. Earth slides in here and picks up one of these small 12 tooth gears and should fit and spin like so. Well, that could have been more convenient. That does get held in by part of the clock face later on. So we get that type of action. And then this other one, same thing happens to it. And these small 12 tooth gears will be kept in place by the mainframe carrier bottom when they engage. This is where this hub cover will go, right about the weight. We'll end up sliding over things like that. And that's what we got for the mainframe bottom. Focus. And that's what we got for the mainframe bottom. Next up will be the assembly of the whole thing. And that one proves to be, I'm sure there will be hilarity and things will not work. But. Thanks for watching, take care, and learn something new.